20 scariest TikTok videos of the year. Nurse Marquette Jean from Mankato, Minnesota is enjoying a quiet night at home when suddenly her eye catches something strange on her daughter's baby monitor. Marquette Jean sees a bizarre figure that resembles a cat that seems to pass right through her daughter's bedroom door. But when she asks little Everly about the cat, the three-year-old instead complains that, quote, there's a monster in the window and that she's scared. Now, oddly enough, Marquette says that her beloved cat passed away last summer. She also says that, quote, weird and bad things have been happening in their home for a very long time. But this is the first time that they have ever caught anything on camera. Marquette is not sure exactly what this is. Exploration gone wrong. Two friends decide to explore an abandoned industrial park at an undisclosed location in China. The site has been abandoned for over three years and most of the entrances have been locked shut to prevent intruders and squatters. But this doesn't stop the two explorers as they manage to find a way inside. Okay. Okay, okay. Ooh. They start to explore the construction floor by floor. That's when they spot something absolutely unnerving. Ooh. Did you see it? Someone appears to be sitting on a chair inside one of the empty offices. The cameraman calls out to his friend and they quickly turn back and check out the room. What the? But there's no one there. So did they accidentally capture a paranormal event? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. A ghostly gift. Cassie O'Malley from Lamont, Illinois loves monkeys. So when one day she receives a monkey doll as a gift, she's absolutely thrilled. That is, until she opens the box. Oh my f***ing god, I swear to god this thing just f***ing looked at me, oh my f For a split second, the creepy monkey doll seems to look directly at Cassie. Oh my God, I swear to God, this thing just f***ing looked at me, oh my- Cassie says she's tried everything to debunk what she captured on camera, but she hasn't found anything to explain it. After this recording, the doll hasn't stirred up any trouble. So for now, Cassie is keeping the creepy little monkey doll proudly on display in her home. But what would you do with a gift if it did this? Let me know down in the comments. Oh my f***ing god, I swear to god, this thing just f***ing looked at me, oh my Shadow of doubt. Late one afternoon in Spain, TikTok user Les spots the shadow of a pigeon perched just outside her second floor window. She decides to record a funny video of her scaring the bird away. But when she approaches the window, things take a very odd turn. 
turn. Hay algo ahí y no sé qué es. What the fuck? Hola. A shadow can be seen through the blinds, but when Les lifts the curtain, there is no pigeon or anything else for that matter. But the shadow remains and then just suddenly moves away. Les, who has never posted any other supernatural video, is baffled by the incident. She says that she doesn't really believe in the supernatural, but also she says she has no clue what the odd shadow could have been. So is this something paranormal or just an odd trick of the light? One day a severely damaged car is brought into a garage in Villa Rica, Chile. It seems that the car had been involved in a serious traffic accident just the night before. The owner of the repair shop, Marcos Garcia, has a house that sits on the same property as the garage. Around 2.30 in the afternoon, he notices something very odd outside his window. He spots one of his mechanics, a man named Juan, who seems to be involved in a very animated conversation with someone. The problem is, there's no one there. Juan is all alone. Marco quickly pulls up the live feed of the garage's CCTV camera on his phone. What happens next is downright chilling. Oíste, Juan se volvió loco. Estoy revisando por la cámara del taller de mi, de mi teléfono, estoy en mi casa. Y este maestro está hablando solo. No he hecho qué onda. La verdad es que no he hecho qué onda. No, está hablando solo. Voy a preguntar por cámara qué está haciendo. A ver, vamos a preguntar. ¿Aló? Oye, disculpa, pero ¿con quién, ¿con quién está hablando? Con Don Carlos, que me está viendo, pasando el presupuesto y explicando el tema de, de la gente que tuvo anoche que en la carretera. Entonces me está viendo el presupuesto y estoy Oye. lo que le estoy diciendo aquí. Oye, cálmate, 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 cálmate. ¿Qué, don Carlos? Pero, oye, escúchame, escúchame un poquito. ¿Tú me estás hablando, tú me estás hablando del accidente de anoche? Claro. Juan, me estáis hueyando, ¿cierto? No, pues es que con don Carlos aquí, pues. Oye, podéis su subir. ¿Sabes qué? Oye, no, es que no estáis hablando con nadie, viejo. No estás hablando con nadie, Juan, y ayer los que chocaron murieron todos. Juan, no estás con nadie, sube y ven a ver las cámaras, tengo todo grabado. No, pero, 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 sube viejo, sube, vente al tiro, vente al tiro, vente al tiro. Si estáis sin no estás con nadie, Juan. No, viejo, no, te estoy, te estoy, tengo grabado, vente por favor, vente. No, esta weá es. Mechanic Juan swears that he was talking to a man who was very real and said his name was Mr. Carlos. Juan says that he could see Mr. Carlos standing right in front of him, clear as day. He says Mr. Carlos was asking questions about repairing the severely wrecked car from the night before. Now, Juan had no idea that all of the passengers in the car had passed away in the accident. He also didn't know that one of the deceased passengers was a man named Mr. Carlos. So did Juan talk to a ghost? He certainly seems convinced. But what do you think? A cry for help. TikTok user Ali McDaniel from Raleigh, North Carolina says that he just returned from a fishing trip when he heard something odd coming from a nearby public toilet, perhaps the sound of a screeching animal. He pulls out his phone and moves closer to film the odd sound. 
But it turns out, it's not the sound of an animal at all. Yo, what the? What the? Bro. There's nobody in here. Yo. A woman can be heard screaming desperately for help from inside the public restroom. But when Ali goes inside and checks, he soon realizes that there's no one there. Shocked by the experience, he posts his video to TikTok and many concerned viewers believe that he might have caught a spirit or possibly even a skinwalker. But what do you think? Yo, what the? We need scary videos, so if you see anything that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Mick Ghost. This next creepy video went absolutely viral on TikTok, and for good reason. An average family are enjoying a fun leisure night hanging out at home, when suddenly it turns into something right out of a horror movie. All right, so dad, <laughs> if you remember the I am telling you, stupid rap. I can do it. All. I think it was like 88, 89, maybe. I don't think it was 90, maybe 87, 88, 89. They had this. Um, they had this record that was a square. It was from McDonald's, but they put it in the Columbus Dispatch. But anyway, it's like a piece of paper, but you put it on like a 33, and it had like the Big Mac song on it. And if you could recite it and go go into the. Uh, <laughs> The store, like the restaurant, recite it. They give you free food or some. <laughs> I still know the whole song. This has got to be the nerdiest <laughs> I've ever heard in my entire life. Check it out. Go. Are you posting this? I'm, like, I'm gonna post it. <laughs> well, just a disclaimer. I'm fat and I don't give a. <laughs> so oh god. This out. Ready? One, two, three. Big Mac McDLT, quarter pounder with some cheese filet, a fish, a hamburger, a cheeseburger, a happy meal, McNuggets, tasty golden, French and French. Did you see that? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Mandy, her husband Brent, and their daughter are just hanging out together and having fun when suddenly a cop just inexplicably flies into the air and falls to the floor. Hey guys, uh, this is Mandy. This is her channel. I'm Brent. Uh, this is a follow up to the, uh, I guess, McDonald's song solo cup flying cup incident. Uh, we were having a family night and I decided to recite the 1989 or eight uh, McDonald's menu song. And I, uh, they were, thought it was funny. And my daughter, who was here, decided to record and video me yeah. and put it on her stupid TikTok or whatever, wherever she puts it on. Um, but yeah, I was in the middle of trying to do the song and just have fun with it. And uh, I heard something, I guess you'll see me in the video, um, if you pay attention. I looked down at the table and I stopped singing. And why I did that is because I heard something. I didn't see a cup move or anything like that. But if you go back and look at the video, you can see the cup move a couple of times. But I heard it audibly on the table. I thought it was something like a mouse or we don't have, we don't have mice or pets. Um, Basically, a little bit later, the thing moves again. I react, and then it flies off the table, and I about pissed my pants because I've never, ever, ever experienced anything like that. Extra, we flew out of the living room. Yeah, we actually left the living room. I was yeah. thinking about going to the Howard Johnson because <laughs> uh, we stayed up all night, didn't sleep very well, yeah. trying to figure out exactly what this was. I have no explanation for it. That really scared me, and I don't get. I'm skeptical about this stuff. Like, I but when cups are flying around, there's something going yeah. on. Uh, so this is where I was sitting on the floor. This is the table. The solo cup would have been about right here. 
my daughter was sitting kind of in the middle of that couch and my wife was sitting on that end over there and this is the scene this is our little living room no ghosts but this is where it happened to this day the family has no idea what could have caused the cup to suddenly start moving and flip into the air and their TikTok page has no other paranormal related videos so let me know what you think the dark visitor TikTok user Alex from the Dominican Republic receives a very bizarre video from one of his friends. The video shows his friend leaving his apartment to go to work at around 5.30 in the morning. What happens next is truly bizarre. While closing his apartment door, a very odd looking dark translucent figure can be seen in the background just walking through the hallway. But then it just disappears into thin air. The guy catches the figure from the corner of his eye, but he doesn't realize what it was until he reviews his CCTV footage. The clip went viral on TikTok, racking up nearly 7 million views and tons of viewer feedback came pouring in. So to very quickly answer some viewer questions and even claims that the video was fake, the guy records a super quick video to explain exactly what happened. Este video el cual se viralizó no tiene ningún tipo de edición, así como yo le estuve explicando a Alex, está por la cámara que lo captó y este es el pasillo, fue todo real, mi gente, gracias. So what do you think this could be? Is it real or is it all just a TikTok hoax? You decide. The Hanging Man. In his home in England, family man Ricky Beetle has gotten increasingly more worried about his son Elliot's abnormal behavior. One day, Ricky finds his son whispering to himself in his bedroom. So Ricky decides to take out his phone and record as he asks little Elliot what's going on. Elliot, what are you doing? Oh, that's cool. What's that? What's that in the corner? The man's hanging. Oh, why have you drawn that? Because the man's hanging there. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Oh, really? Yeah. What does he do? Why? Because he does this. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm not allowed to tell anybody. Okay. Five-year-old Elliot explains that he's drawn the man that is hanging in the corner of his bedroom. A man that annoys him at night by banging on the wall. Now, as if that wasn't creepy enough, Ricky later finds his son seemingly talking to someone that only he can see. Stop it. Elliot, what are you doing? Oh, really? Yeah. Right? He's crying and I keep saying stop it. Is he crying? Yeah. So this is the photo of the hanging man. He's seen in the corner of his room. I'm going to ask him to draw it again when I've rubbed it completely off. Elliot, can you draw the hanging man for me like you did before? No, can you tell me what's happening? What if I don't let him? What if he can sleep in my room? Is that okay? Yeah. Right, so what's the what's these on his face? Tears. What's this? Um straight. Oh, okay. Does he cry quite a lot? Yeah, because he's got his fever out of there and he's up there. Okay. In the corner. Okay, thank you. But he annoys me out of the night because he keeps saying he always bangs on you just Okay, thank you. Now Ricky believes that maybe his son Elliot just has a bit of an overactive imagination. But that soon changes. Dad Ricky becomes worried when the five-year-old can't seem to get any sleep for three nights in a row. Ricky decides to let his son try sleeping in a different room. 
and he installs a security camera to try to figure out what's going on. It isn't long before Elliot is woken up once again. When Dad Ricky checks the security footage, it makes his blood run cold. Now, Ricky thinks the strange growl in the footage is nothing more than a vent inside the room, but he has no idea what seems to be pulling Elliot out of the bed. Looking for any explanation, he decides to share his story on TikTok. So just what do you think is going on here? Could Elliot's imaginary friend perhaps not be so imaginary after all? Is the hanging man real? And what does he want with Ricky's son? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. The thing downstairs. Sophia says that she's been experiencing bizarre supernatural activity in her home in Argentina. She's home alone one night when she starts to hear strange sounds coming from downstairs. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. Hola, gente. Otra vez el ruido ese. Poco estoy haciendo compañía hoy, pero ya estoy sola. Todavía se escucha el ruido de abajo. Y la verdad que no sé. Ay, la concha, no logro ayudarlo ahí. Sora. Sora, subí. Ay, no, Dios santo. Sophia sees an ominous dark figure at the bottom of the staircase, slowly reaching out towards her. But Sophia is not having it. She rushes down to protect her dog and cat who are both downstairs. But the hands disappear and there's nothing there. Only her two visibly upset pets. So could this be something supernatural? Or is it just another TikTok hoax? You decide. An odd intruder. A woman in Jamaica steps outside to retrieve something from her car, but she doesn't know that an absolutely chilling event is about to occur. As the woman exits her house and walks towards her car, we can see some strange translucent shape charge out of the woods near her house and run right inside the front door. Now, whatever this is does not seem to be any kind of compression glitch. The woman in the video is perfectly clear, and also the figure approaches the light and still remains an odd, indistinguishable mist. But is it supernatural? And if not, just what is this? As always, I leave it up to you to decide. This next video is a bit of a mystery as it was posted to TikTok without a source. The post claims that the video was recorded in an apartment in Barranquilla, Colombia. The man who recorded it said that he was shocked when he began hearing the chilling sound of a woman crying from somewhere in his house. He took out his phone to record the terrifying event, but what happens next makes his blood run cold. Niño. A young boy with a blank expression suddenly appears from behind the man's TV stand. And judging from the man's reaction, he has no idea who this child is. The boy then ducks down behind the stand and the man quickly walks over. But the boy has disappeared into thin air. Now, without a source, it's impossible to know whether this creepy footage is real or fake. But either way, the video is definitely spooky. A few months ago, we featured the story of Tim Saver, a night guard who started a new job at an undisclosed facility. For some reason, no one was willing to work the night shift. And before long, 
Tim understood why. He began to experience disturbing and unexplainable events at work. Eventually, Tim discovered that the source of the strange activity in the building seemed to be coming from an overhead attic space. When Tim went up into the attic to investigate, he discovered something truly horrifying. Since this video, the strange activity in the building has only gotten worse. Tim says that he's actually been attacked by something a few times. So cut to another late night. Security guard Tim begins to hear banging coming from somewhere inside the building. Once again, he grabs his phone and hits record as he goes to investigate. mannequin moves on its own and then falls over. Then a large glass frame falls to the floor and shatters into a million pieces. Tim hears the creepy sound of a woman crying. And finally, a loud raspy voice can be heard from somewhere in the room. Oh? Tim is scared shitless and he just makes a run for it. So, now a few weeks later, Tim is back on the night shift when things once again take a terrifying turn. Someone or something can be seen sitting on top of a steel cart. Whatever it is slowly moves back and when Tim turns on his flashlight, it just disappears. Tim says he is shocked by all that he's seen while working as a night guard in the building, but this pushed him over the edge. The next day, Tim quit his job. So is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide not clowning around. 
TikTok user Jacob explains in his videos that he's recently inherited his grandmother's house after she passed away. But Jacob says that he can't shake the strange feeling that something in the old house just doesn't want him there. And then things just get weirder because Jacob finds a creepy old jester doll that belonged to his grandmother. My grandmother's old house, she left it for me and when I got here I saw a bunch of cool stuff. And one of the best things is right behind here. Oh yeah. I call him Jeffrey. Grandma left him for me, I guess. Real creepy. Kind of cute though. Jacob says that when he was a child, the sight of the doll used to terrify him. But he says it doesn't really bother him anymore. But then, late one night, Jacob wakes up to hear knocking coming from his bedroom closet. I just heard knocking from the closet. Jester doll's head has turned. Before, it was facing the bed, but now it is staring right at Jacob as he closes the closet door, almost as if it's keeping an eye on him. Jacob says that he didn't even realize that the doll had moved at the time and only noticed it later when looking back at his footage. So could it be that Jacob's grandmother's home is haunted? Could there be an entity attached to the creepy jester? I'll leave that to you to decide. An unrestful stop. Late one night, truck driver Danny Ramirez pulls over at a rest stop in Oregon to sleep for the night. But there will be no sleep this night. He experiences something truly bizarre. So there's a hair stuff out here. I'm over here on 97 on the rest stop. And, uh, I don't know. What the hell is that? to regret that I stopped at this restaurant. <laughs> and they say Bigfoot isn't real? I don't even want to stick my arm out the window. <laughs> I can't believe A loud animal-like wail can be heard coming from the woods right in front of Danny's parked truck. Danny believes he might have captured the sounds of a Bigfoot. 
Now, it should be noted here that Danny has never posted anything related to the paranormal on his TikTok, which makes this creepy footage that much more believable. Also, others say that they've heard the exact same sounds in this exact same area. But of course, real or not, I leave that to you to decide. A phantom favor. Security guard Freddy works at a busy construction site in Texas. He says that during a night shift, a construction worker named Jose needed help moving a giant heavy wooden cable reel. Jose is relieved when a fellow worker who he's never met suddenly offers to help him out. After they move the heavy cable reel, Jose looks back over to thank the young man, but he's disappeared. Jose reports what happened to the security guard, Freddy, and to his foreman, but they tell Jose that he was the only worker on duty that night. He was completely alone on the job site. So as a matter of site security, they check the CCTV footage and they're shocked by what they find. And this is where things get really weird because Jose spots a photo on the wall inside the office and recognizes the man in the picture as the man who helped him out that night. Security guard Freddy and Jose's foreman are chilled to their core. Because you see, the man Jose points out in the photo passed away over seven years ago. The man's name was Alan Lopez and back in 2015 when he was only 21 years old, he was hit by a truck on the job site and passed away almost instantly. Security guard Freddy decides to post the bizarre footage on TikTok, but after receiving some backlash, he decides to actually show just how difficult it is to move one of the heavy wooden cable reels. So could it be that Jose received help from the ghost of Alan Lopez, whose spirit is still wandering the job site? Let me know down in the comments. Slipping through the trees. A little while ago, I featured the creepy story of Lauren Combs, who over the course of a year captured multiple mysterious unexplained events in her home in Waco, Texas. Now, since these terrifying events, Lauren has installed a new security camera in her backyard because eerily, a lot of the strange activity at her home seems to take place in the wooded area just behind her house. So late one night, Lauren is hanging out and casually playing some Call of Duty with her roommate when their dogs begin to totally freak out for no apparent reason. What happens next is all caught on camera. Yeah. 
The dogs all seem freaked out by something that is going on outside the house. So Lauren checks her outside security cameras and sees something that chills her to her core. Someone or something can be seen quickly pacing or maybe even running back and forth along the tree line in Lauren's backyard. Lauren has no idea who or what this could be and is extremely disturbed by the whole experience, especially after everything else that has happened in the past. So just what do you think is going on here? And what is this? Gate to Hell it's 3 a.m. and Cassandra is shocked awake by the sound of her two very disturbed pit bulls. As she jumps from her bed and looks out of her bedroom window, she quickly realizes why her dogs are so upset. Her outside garden gate is moving, violently clanging back and forth all by itself. Now the gate moving by itself is shocking enough, but most terrifying of all, some very strange looking person appears to be standing just outside the garden fence. Cassandra runs to grab a brighter flashlight, but when she returns, the mysterious figure has disappeared. She seems to hear something nearby and whispers, hello. As if in response to her greeting, someone violently pounds on the door right beside her. Cassandra says that she called the police, but they didn't find anyone or anything around her property. So whatever this is, it remains unexplained. Wrong turn. Dirt bike rider Ethan's TikTok is dedicated to videos of his biking trips into the sand dunes and woods of Oregon. But one day when he's 15 miles out into the woods and completely alone, he experiences something that frightens him to his core. <laughs> This is where most people would turn around. If you turn around and you never get to see what's on the other side, that's where all the gold is waiting over there. Could be missing out what's on the other side. Hello?
Ethan is shocked when he hears strange human-like sounds coming from the woods. He believes it's a voice saying, hey, and help. I'd be missing out what's on the other side. Hello? Ethan then hears strange movement in the brush that seems to be quickly moving towards him. He decides to just get out of there and is even so spooked that he runs right off the path and almost ends up falling right down the hill. When he posts the video to his TikTok page, he wonders if he might have had an encounter with a skinwalker or some kind of cryptid. Because you see, it's rumored that a strange creature wanders these woods. But many of his viewers just shrug it off. They say that he probably just heard a bobcat or maybe even a peacock. Now, whether it was just a bobcat or a peacock or not, many of Ethan's viewers want to see more. They ask Ethan over and over to return to that same spot in the woods to see what happens. So finally, Ethan decides to return, but he makes the very bad decision to return late in the day as the sun is starting to set. As you might guess, it did not go well. Something happens that no one can explain. Oh God, bones are still here. I don't like this at all. Oh God, there's even more bones than last time. It's been a few months since I filmed the last video. Because honestly, I've just been too scared to come up here. Definitely a lot more overgrown than last time. I'm hoping that since it's been such a long time that I don't think anything will happen this time. I think that tree is actually gone. This road's been cleared. Looks like we've already passed it a while ago, but that tree is gone. Oh! It's just dark as hell in here. I'm probably gonna turn around soon. Oh, there's two ways. Holy crap, dude, this trail going on forever. It just got really quiet, really fast. getting dark when Ethan finds himself in a field and tries to decide which way to go next. All of a sudden it gets really quiet as even the crickets seem to stop chirping. Suddenly an ominous looking figure walks right out of the darkness of the tree line. Terrified, Ethan gets out of there as quickly as he can. So what do you think is going on here? Did Ethan find the creature that he heard months earlier? Could this be what many believe to be a skinwalker? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Beware the purple chair. Proud Mother Martina claims that she and her family are terrorized by a dark supernatural entity that haunts their home. Martina has set up a series of static cameras to keep a safe watch on her children. But she also caught some footage that is absolutely unnerving. doors move by themselves and the boy calls for his mother, but otherwise doesn't seem that concerned. But as he continues to play his video game, his chair is forcefully pushed backwards, finally sending the boy running from mama. Cut to another day and Martina is casually vacuuming the hallway carpet. Then this happens.
wrong with this woman? Again, a door moves by itself and Martina's vacuum seems to float into the air as she hysterically slaps and screams at it until it just drops back to the ground. But the creepy activity doesn't stop there. Martina and her son are home alone one night when the living room security camera captures this. The outside door opens and closes on its own as the door handle rapidly rotates as if being turned by some invisible force. Martina grabs her phone and is about to record the door when the purple desk chair suddenly glides toward her and her son. The two have had enough and are about to hurry out of the living room, but something seems to forcefully pull at Martina's sweater. So is this real poltergeist activity caught on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Attachments. Daniel Thompson from California lives with his mother in a house completely filled with his mom's collection of antique dolls, furniture, and vintage trinkets. Hey guys, gonna give a little tour of my place because uh, I guess some of you are asking about it. Hi, Mom. Uh, hi, how are you doing? Check out this uh, 1930s Art Deco mannequin. 1928. Okay, all of this vintage stuff my mom got in like France, I think. Look at these dolls. My mom just like collects dolls. Every room of this house is filled with antique Even the bathroom. Daniel says that his mother has been collecting antiques for as long as he can remember. And he's starting to believe that some of the items might have something supernatural attached to them. One night when Daniel hears bizarre tapping coming from a room downstairs, he takes out his phone and begins to record. Guys. Where is this coming from? It's like knocking at the door. After the odd experience, Daniel decides to install a security camera to keep an eye on the creepy antique dollhouse. Five days later, and this happens. Miniature furniture inside the dollhouse seemingly moves all by itself. Cut to the next night. It's 2.30 a.m. and the knocking returns. But this time, it's not coming from the dollhouse.
At this point, Daniel has had enough, and he moves the old dollhouse into the garage with some other old collectibles. And this is when things start to get really creepy. Disturbingly, a doll's eyes seem to move on their own. Daniel begins to wonder if whatever is haunting the dollhouse might have moved into the creepy little doll. But some of Daniel's viewers on TikTok start to get a bit suspicious as to whether his clips are real. So some of you are saying that I am making all of this up, which I totally get. And honestly, I cannot prove to you, like, undoubtedly that I'm, that it's real. I just am reporting to you guys what I am seeing. Now, even Daniel's own mother is skeptical of his claims that something from the dollhouse might now be haunting their home. But all that changes one night when she too experiences something downright chilling. As Daniel's mother is watching TV on the couch, little footsteps like those of a small child can be heard running right behind her. The sudden spooky sound startles her so much that she quickly raises up to look and is visibly freaked out because there's no one there. So could Daniel's mother's hobby of collecting antiques for all these years be the cause of their paranormal experiences? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Caught live on camera. Popular TikTok creator Millie George is doing her makeup one night when she decides to go live to chat to her followers. It's late at night and she's home all by herself when her viewers spot something in the background that shocks her to her core. Yeah. Okay, so on the live, so that, right, one minute I'm doing my makeup in the mirror, like 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 this, like literally doing nothing. And then that everyone's like, oh, someone just walked in your house, someone just walked in your house. And I was like, stop winding me up, no one's walked in my house. Like, stop winding me up. And then I walked over to the back door. Yeah. I'll show you the back door now, look. Alright. I walked over to the back door. Yeah. So this is how the camera works. The camera was like this in yeah. my house. And you can see the back door there. Yeah. There's a reflection there. Because yeah. I have an automatic sensor when you walk out my back door that the back door light comes on. Yeah. Oh, I've just got the door open. So like, look, and you can see everything in the garden. Okay? Yeah. I'm locking the fucking door. Right, I'm now gonna show you the CCTV footage on my phone from my fucking live. That's CCTV footage? From the live, I've got it downloaded, I downloaded the live. What, of, of, and what was you supposed to have seen, someone else? This was five nights ago, by the way. Yeah, now yeah. look, look, look. Okay, so, all right. Yeah, I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching. Right, the door opens. Wait. I'm gonna zoom in. Oh, no way. How did your door open? It's glass. You can see through the door. Look. There's oh, no one there. I'm joking. Bro, this is some. This is like the ring. And then, no. look, it gets worse. It gets worse. It gets worse, mate. I don't know what to do. I'm just actually shitting myself. Look. Oh, my God. You're joking. You're lying. No way. <laughs> look, it's a fing head. No, you've edited that. You have to have edited that. How have I edited it? It's come yeah, up There's a little line. Chinese kid in there. And then. I then walk over, at this point, I then walk in, I walk over to the door, because everyone was saying there's someone behind me, and this doesn't show on the light, it's been cut, and I'm straight outside again. So it's like the camera stopped working. Bro, why is there a Chinese ghost in your yard, bro? Shocked by what she's seen, Millie shows her friend Tommy what was captured on her live broadcast. 
She shows that she was facing a wall during her live stream and didn't have eyes on the back door. The door seems to open by itself, and Millie's motion sensing back door light just doesn't turn on for some reason. Then, creepiest of all, a little girl who Millie has never seen before can be seen just walking through the house. Millie claims that she was home all alone that night and has no idea who or what this is. So, what do you think? Is this a real ghost caught on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. What waits at the window? Blogger Natalia Valente, along with her mother and a few friends, set out to explore the abandoned Cesario Mota Asylum in Piracicaba, Brazil. The Mota Asylum was built in 1973 and served as an institution for patients with severe or violent mental disorders. After many rumors of tragic patient deaths inside the hospital, the asylum was eventually forced to close in the 1990s. Now, it's 30 years later, and the property is said to be extremely haunted, especially the so-called pink wing of the asylum. The pink wing is on the second floor and is said to be where mentally disturbed children were held. Today, kids' toys and posters can be found scattered throughout the creepy barren rooms of the pink wing. A gente vai entrar, já chegamos. Tô com medo! Entramos. Gente do céu. Olha o tanto que a gente andou, olha isso. É muito grande. Agora a gente tá indo pra ala rosa. A ala rosa é a mais pesada que tem. Você tem noção, ele veio uma vez e não quer nem descer. A gente tá numa parte onde tem vários brinquedos. Olha, é a parte de brinquedo. When Natalia and her group explore the Mota Asylum's Pink Wing, strange things start to happen. Parte 5, e essa é a ala rosa. Que a gente. Ah! Não, tia. Foi vocês? Jura por Deus, jura. Eu até pulei. Eu tava junto com ela, com ela. Tipo, aqui real é bem pesado. The group hears a loud bang that startles Natalia, but they have no idea that they just captured something even more terrifying. Watch closely as they explore just outside the asylum's pink wing. Parte 3 da ala rosa, que é a pior ala que tem. Gente, quanto barro no chão. Aqui é a lavagem de roupa. A gente tá indo pros outros lados, que é bem escondido da ala rosa. Que é onde o povo ficava, tipo, real presaço. Bom, a gente tá indo agora pro necrotério. Did you see it? Up in the window, three children can be seen watching the group as they walk around the property. Again, creepiest of all is that the young boys we see are actually standing in the windows of the haunted asylum Pink Wing, the area where disturbed children were kept 30 years ago. So could it be that these children are the spirits of patients who lost their lives inside the asylum? And if not, just who are these boys? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications so that you never miss a video. You can also follow me on the socials and say, uh, hey there, what's up, buddy? Huh. Anyway, hopefully I will see you again next week.